Hi, I'm Don Hanson. I'm living down here at 3310 State Road, HH, Missouri. I moved down here in 1977 from Northern Iowa. When we moved down here, we found out that the dirt was a whole lot different than Iowa dirt. We uh, had terrific erosion problems as we went with it, and we started no-tilling. And no-till worked wonderfully well for about three, four years. Then basically we developed a crust on our soil that would come up and it would be very greasy and, and very tight and then dry out very suddenly. Then I started finding that if I broke that ground up a little bit in the fall and then came back and touched it with a rolling harrow in the spring, that it worked very, very well. It cut our erosion by probably 75 to 95 percent. The advantage of the smart till was that we can go ahead and set it fairly rough in the fall. Now, I use a smart till a little bit different than some people do. When I work with my smart till, I leave the harrow up in the fall and try to leave my ground as rough as I can. Then in the spring when I come back, I straighten out my tying so all I'm doing is just loosening the ground a little bit and set my harrow very aggressive. And it makes a fantastic one trip tool in front of the planter. We find if we can, can break the, the soil up in the fall and leave it very rough, that that does make an immense difference on the ditch erosion and soil erosion that you get with no-till. When you start no-tilling, why rains will follow the wheel tracks and everything else if you don't touch it at all. But if you run across it and leave it rough, like the smart till will do, it takes care of a lot, a lot of erosion. It, it, it'll cut it by 75 to 90%. We have found that by using this type of tillage that we still have structure in our soil. You basically, if you use a disc, a chisel, or, or any of the other tools, you can drive out after a rain and you'll sink just as deep as you worked it. And that's where your compaction layer will be. When if you use a, a smart till, you'll find that your compaction layer is basically came back clear up to the surface and you crack that surface to where it dries out and the ground will work beautifully in the spring and it'll be uh, a week ahead of, of the common no-tiller that does nothing.